Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the web element method that are available in Selenium WebDriver and how you can use these methods to interact with the web element and get the details of the web element that might be required in your automation. So uh, some of the methods that I have on my screen are so send keys we have already seen if there is a text box, how you will be able to type within that text box you will use the send keys method and pass the character sequence and that sequence will be typed into that particular text box then clear is another method if you want to clear the text so in many scenarios uh, you will be required to clear the text first from uh, the text box and then start typing in so clear is the method that is available to clear the entry uh, if there is any within uh, the text box and then you can start typing or you can use send keys after that then click we have already seen that uh, you can click on the web element whatever web element you specify depending on the locator you can click on that as well then there are some get methods which are really really helpful for example get attribute right so uh, as we have seen in the web element there are certain attribute right so for example this is the demo website that we'll be taking so for example if i just right click on this first name and click on inspect then you will see this is the tag input and then class max uh, max length name required type etc value placeholder all these are the attributes okay so if you want to get the value of the attribute you can use the method get attribute and we'll see all these methods in action uh, in uh, the program so don't worry about that and then get CSS value so for example you have this you know uh, a particular web element say in this case i pick this request a demo right so this button and this has a property so there is a color right the orange color for this particular button and this color comes through the css uh, property so we can get that particular property uh, which gives the color or the styling of this particular button etc so that is possible with the get css value method then get location is basically where on the page so on the whole page where exactly this particular web element is so it will give you the location of the top left hand corner okay of the rendered element so for example this is the button so it will give give you the location of this top left hand right so where where this uh, you know little icon is pointing that is where which location will be returned um, then the next one is a get size so it will basically give you the size in the width and height so basically say for example you want to get size of this button so it will give you the size of this button as width and the height it will return that then get tag name will give the tag name of the element so for example in this case if i want to uh, you know say for example request a demo button if i want to get the tag name for this particular web element tag name that will be returned will be input because the tag name starts with input right and then get text will return the visible text so for example in this case request a demo is the text that is be being displayed on this button it will return this visible text that is displayed and then you have is displayed is enabled and is selected these are mostly used uh, in the verification of a certain you know uh, properties say for example whether the button is displayed or not you can use the is displayed uh, before you actually you know like you you can either use it for verification or you can you know uh, use it uh, before you proceed with further action so you can use is enabled whether the button is enabled before you start clicking on it uh, or it whether the you know checkbox is selected or not so is selected will be mostly used for the um, check boxes and radio button so you can use these is displayed is enabled and is selected methods as well now let's go to um, eclipse and uh, write all these methods so i'll simply copy this uh, class uh, sorry i'll let me copy this demo automation and i'll paste it here and rename it to um, working with web elements so most of i mean couple of them we have already seen but uh, we'll see or we'll basically look at the ones that we haven't looked at or 
how to use it so here what we'll do is we'll just keep the first four lines and we'll be working on this particular website right so i'll copy the url and we'll use this get method and open this url and then this command here or this line here is basically to maximize the browser window okay now after maximizing what we want to look at is um, so we have so for example we want to send keys right so send keys we have already seen uh, in the previous tutorial so i'll skip that for now but i'll use send keys and then clear the the content to show you the clear command or clear method so to send the keys we just have to use driver dot find element so we first have to find the element by some locator so how we'll find it so if you just right click and click on inspect on this first name there is a first name name uh, attribute already there already there with the value first name so i'll simply identify this element by the name attribute so i'll simply say here uh, by dot name and then provide the first name attribute okay the value there and then we'll use send keys to basically send the character sequence so i'll send uh, the keys testing okay so this will be typed in there and then i'll clear okay so i'll simply say driver dot find element by and then rest all will remain same and from this text box i want to clear whatever i have typed right so you simply say dot clear okay and then you know like you have the different methods as well so if we go and see you have click you have clear right so if you uh, take clear it will clear the content okay now the next is the click so if you want to click on the button you can use the click method then get attribute and get css value okay let's get the attribute of you know this particular element okay so if we go and just copy the whole thing here okay and instead of clear i'll say get attribute okay and what attribute you are looking for so here if you see the uh, web element you have many uh, attributes right so class max length name etc okay let's get the attribute for the class okay so i'll simply mention class and in the quotes so it should get me the attribute of that class and print it so if you hover over this get attribute the return type is string so basically we can store it in string and print it okay so what i'll do is i won't store it in the string i'll simply print it out on the console okay so system out dot print ln and then you simply it will print out this attribute on the console okay now what's next the next one is the get css value okay so let's get the css value so i'll simply get a new web element this time so here i'll get the css value for this button so if i inspect this particular web element right um if you see the this particular web element um the background color right so background color or the pointer so let's get the background color for this particular web element okay and then there are other you know css attributes as well so for example text transform border etc so we can get text transform in this case let's get text transform and we'll simply say driver dot find element by and because this is the new element so this has the type submit and value i'll simply copy the x part just to make it quick and i'll say by x path and provide the x part there okay and then dot get sorry dot get css value and what is the property name that we're looking for we're looking for text transform property of the css right and 
so that should be it now we want to print it right so we, we are printing it on the console right so we'll simply think it will require two quotes here right let me delete that sorry okay yep so now the error has gone now what is the next one so the next one is a get location size tag name and text okay so we'll simply copy that the same particular same line so i'll simply copy the whole thing okay and instead of you know get css value i'll say get size okay and just give me a sec so i'll say get because i want to get size of the button okay so it will return me the size of the button and then get location so i'll simply copy this and i'm printing all of these so location size etc everything i'm printing on the console so that is why there is a system dot out dot print ln so get location will print me the location okay so we have seen get size and get location um the next one is the get tag name and get text okay so let's uh, use the or let's put the get text as well and here we'll just change it to get text okay so it will get the text which is on the button which is displayed on the button which is request demo and it and it will print it okay so get text and then get tag name right so we'll get the tag name for this particular web element as well so the tag name for this web element is the uh, input type so if we just say uh, dot get uh, tag name it will print the input as the tag name now what is the next one the next one are the is displayed is enabled and is selected now let's use those as well and see what it returns okay so if you hover over all these methods you will see the return type is string right you'll see all these methods the return type is so in this uh, case get location it is point all right and if you go to the point so this is aw2 point if you go go to this particular uh, you know uh, documentation you will get the detail about this class as well then um, the size returns the dimension and the css value returns again the string so here if we go ahead and see uh, change it to is displayed dot is displayed all right and close it so you'll see the return type is boolean in this case okay so it will either return a true or false if the element is displayed it will return true and it will pr print that on the console because we have used system dot out dot print element okay and similarly for is enabled and is visible okay so we'll simply copy the same command and print it twice and then we'll say is visible okay this is again uh, the boolean return type so is visible and there's something wrong is oh sorry is enabled and is selected is enabled and is selected okay so these last three methods will return true or false because they are they will either return you know like true or false in this case and uh, you know it will print on the console so let's try executing this and see what the results are on the console so i'll run it and see what is printed on the console so it will open the uh, browser it will type in the keys then clear in the the uh, text so you can see maximize typed in and then quickly uh, removed it 
and then let's go back and see the console right so here if you see that this is basically if we just move the console right so here it typed in the keys and then cleared it and then what we were looking for we were looking for the attribute for the class okay for this particular web element so if you go to the web element right here uh just in this one okay the first name if you click on inspect you see the class attribute value got printed right element hyphen container so this got printed on our console right the next one we got was uh, get css value so we got a text transform css value so this was the attribute that we provided and this is the value for that particular attribute in the css then uh, get size is basically the width and height of the button so this is the uh, width and this is the height of the button this is the location so get location will be the location of the top left hand corner so um, this these are the coordinates of that particular button on the page okay so this button request a demo right so this is the location for that then we have got the tag name so we we got you know um, location we got uh, the text uh, so it didn't got the text so let's see what happened wrong there so we'll check that later uh, why the text is not uh, printed there the visible text then it got the uh, tag name the tag name was input and then is displayed yes it uh, printed true is enabled true and is selected because it's a button so uh, is selected will return false and false is printed okay so these are some of the basic methods let's uh, go ahead and see why this visible text is not printed so we'll go to the uh, button and just inspect it and see if there is any visible text so there isn't any visible text right so if there is a visible text it will print it so there isn't so let's pick any other uh, web element and see uh, if there is a visible text and then we'll you know so for example we'll simply get this line here and you see this is the visible text right so if i simply copy this and copy the x path the location of this particular uh, element and use it uh, here so instead of this locator i'll use the new locator and rerun this code okay so let me uh, rerun this so i'll just simply uh, right click run as and run this code again now it should print the text as well in the console so it's going through yep let's go back to eclipse and now you can see we are number one where it counts with our customers right so this is the visible text that got printed for this particular web element this is the visible text so let's go back to the slide so we have covered all the methods that are available for working with web elements now these are the very basic methods that you will be utilizing a lot in your selenium automation so please go through these practice them go through the java docs and understand uh, the details of these methods and how you'll be using it so that's pretty much all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.